Look at this dude. Hey, what's up? What's up? Not a whole lot, man. Just uh, eternal depression. What are we gonna What are we gonna do today, Doug? Probably gonna beat some children. Uh, either that or bleed the break from this little piece of garbage over here. That that hunk of junk over there. Yeah, I paid like ten dollars for it. Oh, dude, it's that's cheap. Garbage. Don't buy German cars. I didn't know you could buy Mercedes for ten dollars, honestly. Yeah, you know I well ten dollars and I I held a gun to his head. But, oh. Yeah. Drove all Pretty the way to though. drove yeah. all the way to South Carolina for that. Yeah, yeah. And the guy I bought it from actually recognized my car. Nice. True story. Nice. There's Doug's Del Sol. There's it's my there's my Del Sol. I, I brought it out today. It's still a piece of crap. Oh gang. And, Luke's and, gonna be here soon with his uh his, his Mazda Del Sol. Oh yeah. And then cool. and then here's the uh the Del Sol junkyard where Del Sols go to die. I mean two of them are good cars. One on the part. That one's a shell. That's a car. That's a SIR imported from Japan. That's a for all you American people out there. This one here has the steering wheel on the wrong side of the car. No, it's the right side. Ah. Uh, the right side. <laughs> and then this one is um this one's du or Dustin's Del Dragon that met its demise against an, a moose, yeah, an, an elk. elk. But Somewhere in the Ozark Mountains of Arkansas. Something like that, yeah. But like a Phoenix, it'll rise again. He's got a carbon fenders being made, custom front bumper, carbon hood, carbon doors, all that crap's going on. It's going to be baller. For now, it's just kind of sitting on these ugly wheels and this old hood just to kind of keep everything together. But Rotting away. It'll live again, though. If I haven't posted a video in forever, like three cars and coffees have went by, haven't posted a video. Um... Let's see, a cruise to the coast with like 50 cars, that happened, didn't post a video. And uh, I don't know if you know this, you probably do, considering how it's affecting the whole country, but we're in the middle of a pandemic right now. Um, Douglas here started something called COVID-19. Yeah, I was, I was bored and I was like, you know, why don't we control the masses? I figured we could get everyone to stay at home, stay off the streets so we can go shoot racing. I just made a virus, you know, it, it's worked pretty well so far. Um, yeah, so, you know, half the country shut, well, actually, the whole country shut down. Mississippi just ended its shelter-in-place order. Um, they kind of realized it wasn't working here. Yeah. But anyhow, I, I haven't made a video, but that being said, school got canceled for, like, the entire rest of the semester. Governor Tate Reeves just said, you don't need education. Yeah. And, um... I mean, I dropped out, so I agree. So... I decided today, I've been coming up here a lot over the past two or three weeks, Doug's been dealing with some stuff, I've been up here a lot, but today I was like, you know what, I'm going to make a video, kind of update everybody on life, and uh, fill y'all in. So that's where we're at right now. Um, today we're going to work on his car. Um, sometime next week I'm going to show a how-to video on how to do several things on that car, like put a off-road light bar on it, convert your gauge cluster, your instrument panel switches and your climate control to all LED for those that want to do that and then maybe at some point in time we'll do a tutorial on how to drain the um, rear window area I don't know what exactly it's called but it's right there behind the, the seats um, yeah kind of where the bulkhead is it, it's sealed to the chassis of the car and there's drains of the water out that comes in the back window but they get clogged and you end up with a fishbowl back there and it's just it's a bad time whenever I swing right and left with any sort of effort the water rushes to one side and you can hear it go shush, shush, shush. and it's really annoying and if you leave it there for a very extended period of time it'll actually rust out the bulkhead and then you have a bad time so luckily though if that does happen i think that's one of the few parts you can still get good sheet metal for like on ebay and stuff it's not like the core support where you have to go find a shell and chop it all out i guess let's get started um with this thing by getting it down off of the ramps where it has sat for well since we left it here the other day it's been a few days yeah i, I got a better let's put this let's put this hemi in it this yeah. uh it needs it needs a little bit of work though. Maybe a fresh oil change, maybe head gaskets, but clean. You know, take a take a piece of like 80 grit sandpaper to the cylinder head mating surface here, and it'll be fine. And the leaves are just power adders. Each leave adds five, adds five horsepower. I mean, um, they can bust, so it's kind of like more fuel. Oh yeah, it's you got the nos built right in. Um, 
be great. You'll need a new water pump, but I mean, I mean, factory fresh, dude. Am I right? Check that out right there. Got a fresh oil change ready to go. Beautiful. All right, so cars down off the ramps. I'm gonna order new front tires for this thing Friday, I think, because they those, are those are rated for like 130. This car will do a lot more than 130, and they're separating and they're old and they're hard. No, dude, it's this is a, just a base model. Yeah, it's a COK320. It makes 215 horsepower, yep. zero to 60, about 10 seconds. Look at this dude over here, just just chilling behind the Audi. She has thumbs, by the way. Look at her, just chilling. She has plural thumbs. Nice. I'm just on a lift kit. I'm not excited. Oh, dude. Lift kit gang. Check out that lift. Oh yeah. It's probably break the loads loose first, but. Yeah. That's what you have an impact for. Exactly. They got a supercharger on that thing? Is that a supercharger on that thing I heard? Uh, only in reverse. It's only supercharged in reverse. Ah. That's the way that that's what that's what my tuner did. Oh, okay. All right, Lukey, so what are we looking at here? We we got a, a turbocharged 2JZ. This is a JDM imported uh, 1.5 JZ. Uh, so it's got a 2JZ bottom end and a 1JZ head. Right? Okay, okay. And uh, right here we have the intake manifold, which was ported by my good buddy down the road under his shop. Okay. And then uh, this looks like a regular heat shield, but... Uh, that's says, actually hot in the snail. Yeah, it's actually hot in the snail that way everybody thinks it's stock. Okay. Uh, normally on 2Js, you know the turbo will be on this side, but uh, I decided, You did a special reversal since thing. I'm a good mechanic, I decided to put it on that side. So, okay. This airbox is just for looks. Doesn't do anything at all. It doesn't really do anything. Just yeah. again, make everybody think it's stock. It's bone stock, yes. And um, got, the, got the custom. I have, Blue. I have 100 dollars worth of car parts in my trunk and I can't get in my trunk because it's 30 years old and the key doesn't work. So. Oh, that we share the yeah. same problem. I, the only way I can get in the trunk of that piece of shit over there is uh, through the inside. I, the I the exterior a, release a, doesn't work. I don't have an interior release. Um, the 91s didn't have an interior release, but the 92s did, so I got lucky. Yeah, I, I feel like this car is just too clean to be um to be this old, but uh. It's a, it's a 91. Got 105,000 miles and only paid two grand for it. We we agreed on on two grand, right? We're gonna we're gonna sell this right now for uh, 2,500. And a uh, number two from Popeyes. Okay, we can do that. All right, guys. Well, it's a done deal now. I now own a Miata. So no. awesome. Got that got that pop up headlight gang. In other news, guys, I really like this car. This is super clean and. Uh, should I replace the Del Sol with it? Let me know in the comments below. Also, James is here. Check that out. So James has arrived here now. What's up, James? No, he What's doesn't. Up? He doesn't arrive. He comes. Ah, oh, exactly. I see. And he cries while he's out. And my something squeaking. Yeah, his uh, his BMW here is making some kind of noise coming from in the general direction of down there where there is a spoolie boy snail. And uh, it's it's just being a typical BMW. So summary of what's happened: Doug needs clear hose to breed his brakes. Um, Luke can't get into his trunk to get the stuff out to work on his Miata. So Douglas has got to go. We got to go to town and buy Douglas clear hose and find Luke a drill so he can drill a hole in his trunk and uh, get get into his trunk. So. So, I guess that's what's going to happen here. And my car is the only one that's fine at the moment. No sooner than we talk crap about the car, he gets in the trunk. So Pretend you'll never get in here again. That's cool. The air pressure, though. Just get all the stuff out you know you need. Put it in the floorboard in the front. That's, that's going to be how you're going to have to do it.
All right, so we're going to town. Well, we're waiting on Doug to move. I'm gonna ride in this very nice tractor. Listen to it, sounds, sounds just like a tractor. Walmart has Walmart. aquarium tubing that's very flexible. They do. I, me and John played Boston there one time to flood his uh, intercooler in the parking lot. That might. It, it's probably flexible enough to fit over the, the barb. No, Walmart. Walmart. We have 20 minutes to get out of Walmart. So. Get it. Go, Dougie. Go, Dougie. Whoa. Luke, tell uh tell everybody what's going on right now. I can't keep up. Ever since I bought the Miata, I just You just been slow. I've been so slow, I can't keep up. It's not uh, dang his ass was big. Anyways. You didn't get that on camera. Did you? Oh no, I totally did. Oh shoot. Now everybody knows you bought a Miata, you were looking at his ass. Did you know babies are all natural homemade pocket? Whoa! Demonetized. Demonetized. That's that's crazy. So where are we going now, guys? I'm gonna get in this nice vehicle. Got boost. You're a fresh financial mistake. Dirty like my exes. Long live little Neil. Doug, what you got going on over there, dude? I'm just impacting. Yeah. This, this machine right here has a real impact on my life. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're like three hours late working on this because this wasn't my day, man. Hey, this wasn't. Is your parents going to be mad if I go inside the shit? No, just don't cough on them. I, I'm not coughing anyway. Make sure you turn the fan on. You Look at you taking those wheels off. It's part of this now, it's fine. I'm a master mechanic. YouTube certified. That's going back in. Luke, why aren't you working on your car? Oh, why not? Uh, the Mazda life isn't for him. I need help bleeding my clutch. Oh. Yep. We'll take turns bleeding things tonight. Ah, oh, okay. Later we're gonna bleed we're gonna you. Make each other oh, nice. Like each other bleed. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna bleed Brandon like a pig. We're gonna bleed anally. Ah. Uh, I do that pretty regularly. It's a, yeah, it's a good boy. You got that wheel off right there? Yeah, dude. I got, yeah, how you, how I got it off. How you enjoying the lug bolt life? Oh, I freaking oh, it's so good. I love lug bolts. You know, you put the wheel on, you gotta guess where the holes are. It's, oh, I just love it, man. I have an I alignment have. tool I should give you. That'd be nice. I wouldn't complain about that. It's like a, a very extended... I brought up my toothbrush out here so I can rust off of here, you know? Oh, wow. I'm going to breathe that in. No, you're not. Nice. Mesothelioma. Get my if you are a loved one, if you are a loved one, have meso was diagnosed with mesothelioma from working on a Mercedes Benz. If you a loved one was, di was diagnosed with measles. If you have a loved one, See. you're doing better than I am. <laughs> what if you were diagnosed with AIDS? Can you get a no, I don't think that's how that works. Holding. 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 So we're on wheel three of four. Everything's going smoothly so far, but that slank over there and this slank right here are leaving because they don't like working on their cars late at night. It's 10 o'clock, Brandon. Yeah? I have work tomorrow. And I have to get up and beat my meat. Okay. I won't go to bed until probably three or four. See, 
can't do that. Even if I had nothing to do, I can't stay on that way. I'm high, you won't let me. Oh. Man. Later. I can stay up late easily. I gotta fight myself not to. That's the problem. Yeah, that's true. Beat, 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 gang. Beat, gang. Uh, uh. Alright. Maybe you went to fresh, but. Well, fresh, but. Alright, you ready to go Go back pushing? Yeah. Uh, yeah, pump gang. Uh, you a little pump. Got it. Little pump. Alright, we're getting there. Pump. Okay. Bye, buddy. Bye, Luke. So Doug has asked me to come appreciate. Do you see the girth of this caliper? Like, look at this thing. This is bigger than the huge. Dance. This is bigger than the engine of my Del Sol. This has eight pistons in it. That's this a lot. Is, this is like two Del Sols stopping each wheel. There's four brake pads per side. That's a mini. So that's a mini eight cylinder. This car takes, I think, a total of what? Let's see, yeah, eight, yeah, twelve total brake pads for this car. Yeah, it's got four pistons in the rear, which is bigger than my Del Sol brakes in the front. And then, so there's there's four pads in this caliper. Yeah. And two a, and on pad, the top, two in. And a wear sensor. So whenever the uh, pads wear down, it'll tell me that my pads have worn down. Pretty neat. This rotor's toast, by the way. Um, I don't know if you oh, can wait. tell. Oh, wait. Oh, there's two bleeder screws per... Ro okay, so I got to bleed this one, too. Just a little bit, like one pump. Two bleeder screws per caliper. Whoa. That's you cool. thought you were done with this wheel. I was not done with this wheel. Got to uh, hook it all back up. Well, no, just one little hose. I'm just got to do, like, one pump, one, two pumps, you know, to get the side cleaned out. It's 1030 at night, and we're done with this. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> there's just dripping everywhere. It's It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, I swear. Now we're going to go drive the crap out of this car. We're going to drive it a little bit, yeah. Make the neighbors angry, probably. That's right. I fun. mean, it, it, you're not, you haven't finished a successful day unless you end the day with a nice, strongly worded Facebook post from your neighbors. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have a local neighborhood watch group on Facebook, and they just, they love getting on to me, my friends. It's, it's great. You can be, like, doing the speed limit, but if your car's loud, they'll be like, oh, he got down 90 mile now. Yeah. Entertaining, at least. Need to get the sheriff on that. Oh, yeah, they'll, they'll tag the sheriff on it, too. Great. You're better at this than a, a NASCAR driver would be. Absolutely, dude. Those boys are slow. They're like, brum, 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 and I'm like, man. Brum. you never seen such speed, have you? Those are torque to spec right there. Absolutely, yeah. Let me go. Uh, I keep, I'll leave one out for weight reduction. Oh, yeah. I gotta go find one. I think I know Oh yeah? Yep. Let's do it quick. My favorite kind of bread is Venus roll. Also my favorite kind of sushi is Venus roll. Oh yeah? Yeah. Big old bet, big old Venus. Oh hello. Triple click for extra torque. Nice. We are finito. Nice. Finito it's done. Look at that. Look at that. Now the car is entirely equipped. Ready for this? Wow. Ah. Right. Rose up. You gonna close that the rest of the way? No, not yet. Well, I'm gonna do a no burnout launch, I think. Just see what we do. Here on the street. Oh, there's someone coming. Wait, no, that's, just, that's lights. Never mind. Okay. No burnout launch. Cold asphalt. Oh, that's. Oh, burnout. she spied. That's 80. That's 90. That's 100. 110. Nice. That's pretty quick. Yeah, like looking at the 
Looking at the road, it feels like 80. All right, let's do this, though. So we're doing 100 right now. Does that sound like we're doing 100 in a car? No. We're whispering right now doing 100. Yeah, it doesn't feel like we're doing 100. We're not doing 100, guys. We're in Mexico doing 55 miles an hour. This was filmed in Mexico. That's a car. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'm having to hold my camera in my passenger seat because I've kind of got like a spotlight right there. But uh, um, hope you enjoyed this vlog. That was just a little catch up of kind of where I'm at in life and what I'm doing. Uh, haven't forgot about in the channel at all. I've just been, I've been, there's more important things obviously than YouTube, school, work, stuff like that. But I've got some content coming here uh, with the old Dell Slow that I'm hoping to get out here within the next week or so. We're going to do some upgrades, kind of some unusual things to this car. Um, and I'm going to document it because I don't have a lot of content on this channel. And I think it'd be good to kind of document. Now that I've, you know, I found a solid, uh, a solid friend base, people that I know will help me film and stuff like that. Um, we're going to hopefully get get this channel going. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, one thing for I can tell you right now we're going to fix is we're going to fix these gauge flickering. These This gauge cluster has got LEDs in it already. These were cheap LEDs off of eBay. I just spent $60 on LEDs, good LEDs from super bright LEDs. We're going to put some new ones in here and fix that flickering. Um, but as you can see... It's 11.55 and I've still got a 35 minute drive back to Hattiesburg, so we're going to get back to it. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Allergies. We're going to get back to it. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope this was a nice little um, catch up video. Um, tell you what we've been got, what we've had going on. But if you liked it guys, you know what to do. Smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe. Uh, you know, talk to me in the comments. I'll read them. I'll reply to them. I don't mind interacting with you guys, but uh, I'm going to go on ahead and get this drive knocked out, and we will see you guys in the next video. Y'all have a good one.